Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman in our downtown studio, so we're going to kind of stay in the area, but run down the street to uh, DBI and uh, their owner, Steve Claver. How you doing, Steve? Good morning, Chris. Doing great. I see there's sunshine outside your window. I wondered where yeah. you at. Uh, maybe it's fake. I don't know. Maybe it's a facade. That's something else you can uh, purchase from DBI for yeah. your office, right? Sunshine. <laughs> Sunshine. Hey, let's talk a little bit about the last uh, three months. Any highlights? Yeah, you know, we've been really lucky. We've been blessed working out at uh, Auto Owners, doing furniture for Auto Owners, new building there off of Christ, and then also Farm Bureau off of Saginaw. Those are two huge highlights for us. They really are. Those are big accounts. And uh, of course, you guys have been doing business for them over the years quite a bit. So, yep. Yep. But it's been it's been great, you know, because of, they started the planning during COVID. And, and so you kind of thought, oh, that could be bad. And and they've gone forward. They want their people in the office and working. That's awesome. So they're calling their folks back. Are you seeing that in your customer base? Are they starting to call people back? They are. They are. You know, the small office seems to be doing that. You know, the attorney office, the doctor's office, of course, uh, those type of things, you're starting to see them come back. So that's great. So are you seeing a little redesign as a result of that? We are. We are. You know, you're starting to see the people get rid of the plastic shields, which I'm glad to see, see that go. Everybody's keeping the social distancing, you know, six feet. But, but uh, yeah, it's nice to see the plastic shields and the mask kind of slowly going away well and my advice would be put them in a closet don't just recycle them right <laughs> yeah hang on to them yeah. that's for sure i i hate to have that perspective but you never know when covid 96 is going to come along you know exactly or 97 or 98 <laughs> or whatever yeah you're absolutely right um so steve have you guys been impacted i mean there's been a great deal of inflation and in product and in in the cost of people uh and and also throw in the supply chain problems have you seen uh real ramifications from that oh yeah you know there's many the problem we're having in the furniture is we get a lot of it in but we don't get it all in and in some cases we can't build it because we haven't got all the parts and pieces. We've got 80% of it, but we don't have all the parts and pieces. And so it just sits there until we get it all in. So that, that hurts. Um, hey, well, and now you're, now you're throwing in the expense of warehousing too. Warehousing. Yep. Yep. Or if it does go together, taking it out, delivering it, and then having to go back for a second delivery. Yeah. Yeah. So that's true. Th those two things are killers, you know, and, and Hayworth is our major line which is right here in Michigan, but you know, they're having problems with the supply chain, getting steel and fabric and that type of stuff. So even though it's an American made company, it's, it's still, we still have shipping problems. Yeah. Well, this thing has been very tough on everybody and, and the COVID of course, but as you say, you're starting to see them kind of come out, see the light at the end of the tunnel and things are, are moving back into to normal. Do you do you think in what you're looking at, will will the I guess the common modus operandi remain as hybrid officing or or will we totally go back to where we were? No, I think we'll always go hybrid. I think the 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 new generations, the millennials and generation X and stuff have gotten used to that. Chris, you and I like to be in the office and, and talk to people and see people face to face. They don't seem to need that, I don't think. And so I think it'll always be hybrid. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that means technology. That means in some cases rewiring and all that stuff. So you've got to supply chases and things like that, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, it, you wouldn't think there'd be a lot of technology and furniture and it just amazes me every time new stuff comes out more technology in the furniture itself well i'm amazed at a lot of your furniture that you can just plug in all kinds of things uh and then not only that i suspect the next is going to move to cordless you know wi-fi oh, yeah. operated that sort of thing oh yeah absolutely and you know charging your phone our furniture even our couches and stuff are coming up with charging systems and and uh, uh cords and all that kind of stuff it's it's amazing. Yeah. 
So you named um, two companies that were going forward with what they had planned during COVID. These are insurance companies. They were a little insulated from, from COVID. Um, uh, is the rest of your client base, are they on hold or uh, are they going forward with things? No, it seems like, you know, more and more they're, they're going forward. The Boy, the one that's really going crazy are the marijuana places. I know we're, we're working on a quote right now for um, Skyman out where the uh, ice arena used to be out on the west side. And yeah. Oh, on the west side, out at Summit? Yes. yes. Ah, yes. okay. Well, that could be a big project. There's a ton of square foot out there. Right, right. Yeah, well, so we're excited to, you know, be working on it. Hopefully we get the bid. <laughs> well, you're you're into the new economy there with both feet. So yeah. that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. How about uh, office supply products? I know you do those in a big range. Right, yeah. You know, most of the stuff is in stock now. What's bad is the copy paper there's not very many mills and they're uh, just making eight and a half by 11. They're not doing the eight and a half by 14, which is the legal size or the 11, 17, which is the bigger size. So those two papers, if you need 14 inch or 17 inch, buy what you can now. Yeah, I got you. Might be an idea to warehouse at your own building. Steve Claver, <laughs> owner at DBI. Thanks so much for joining us, buddy, and bringing us update on your industry. You got it. Thank you. Have a great week. You too. We are always having a great week here at the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman.